A YouTuber asked if he could use a wall wart to uh, power this AM transmitter. And I thought that was a pretty interesting idea. I don't have a uh, 24 volt wall wart, but I do have a 12 volt. And here is the one I'm going to use. And you can see that it's 7 watts, puts out 12 volts at dot 3 amps. I measured the output and it actually puts out a little over 18 volts. Here I have hooked up the 12 volt wall wart directly to the AM transmitter and you can clearly hear a hum which is very annoying. So I'm going to hook up a circuit that I came up with. We're moving the grounds first. And it works really well. And it's not uh, very complicated. And it doesn't cost a lot of money either. So that's uh, good on a couple of points there. It's regulated, and as you can see, it's got a couple of uh, electrolytic capacitors. Okay, finally. Now I've got to retune because it's less voltage. We're now running on 12 volts. And it is as clear as a bell. This works really well. It actually surprised me how well it worked. I didn't think we were going to eat be able to use a wall wart to uh, uh, run this transmitter. Okay, here's the circuit that I came up with. I also didn't have a 24 volt regulator, so I'm using a 12 volt, and it's a NTE966. The Walmart 12 volts is on the left at the input. We've got a 33 microfarad capacitor at 35 volts. I think I had a maybe 150 in the demo, but all you need is 35 volts. And then the center lead is ground. Then the third lead on the right is the output, and I've got a 1,000 microfarad capacitor at 35 volts there. And it was, as you heard, very clean. So, yes, you can use a wall mark. But you have to add just a little bit more circuitry. So in other words, if you build this transmitter and you're going to use a wall wart, uh, just add the regulator circuit on the same board. Thanks for watching.